Oh, oh, we're getting the Miis. That might I was wrong. Dusty, hear me out. He, start, he starts charging up. I really want Lazo to just go to the bathroom mid-set. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll be back. I gotta leave. Browser even rocking the MSM shirt. That's a that's a power so, up. He, he said, "I know where I am." <laughs> Sweater off. Tra no training weights for this. He's going in full power. He's letting it rock. I'm curious if MM Leo was like looking for the music, or he's like, "Which one sounds good today?" He he's definitely not playing with game audio though. I chose the music for you. You're listening to this one. <laughs> Imagine you counterpick to Battlefield, put on like the Pikmin like nature sounds, and then put your own music in, and they just have to hold that. Or what's that? Uh, what's that other like song that people hate? Swan song. Put on swan song, and everyone's like, "I hate you." How could you listen to this? And they take off their own headphones and say, "Huh? huh? Listen to what? Huh? Yeah, I. G Sorry, I got I got my music. Right. I didn't hear a word what you just said. <laughs> All right, so game one going into it, going off with me gunner. I thought the Mega Man was going to start off first, but choosing to go for the Mii Gunner. I do like the way that uh, Mii Gunner can play in this match. If he could really make it difficult for Peach to kind of float for free. He does have that fair. He has the laser and these bombs. It's a really good way to restrict space, and I think that's what MM Leo is kind of banking on here. Yeah, the bombs can make it so difficult to get off the ledge. Mm -hmm. And the thing with Peach, I don't know what move of hers is going to hit the bomb and to the back without hitting him back. Oh, maybe a turn him, I guess. Because your first reaction would be like, oh, just down tilt the bomb. But that could also explode right in your face, and that could be bad for you. Yeah, I feel like this match is going to be much more slow paced. Oh, we're sending uh, it. Oh, we're throwing it back on the bombs. Okay. In every sense of the word, Raza was throwing it back to uh, MM Leo here with these bombs. Looks like Raza trying to call out the bombs or the lasers with the, uh, with the counter, which is something I was also curious about, but it doesn't seem like it's seemed to land yet. Raza needs a little more time to adjust for the space. Yep, nothing ready for that. That stealth laser. That's something that MM Leo likes to throw out a lot. He will catch you uh, lacking, to say the least bit. So right now, Raza is really playing on the back foot. It does not look like he's too comfortable in this matchup, but finally gets the dot eyes. The luck begins. What, what is... What move is that? Is that neutral B? Yep, it's uh, J basically Falco laser. I've never seen anyone running that. It's really good to be annoying, and that's kind of what this. Killed. That's what this me gunner set seems to be. It's hey, how annoying can I be? Yeah, this looks very frustrating to deal with. Mm -hmm. Not easy. he doesn't really have those big disjoints. Just kind of stuff out me gunner, and it's really hurting. Like Rosal's trying a lot of different options to hit the bomb back. The only successful one so far has been that back air, but even then, if he doesn't time it right, he's going to get blown up for it. I guess that back air out of shield. Sends it back again and almost dying for that. This is looking tough for Roger to get in. <coughs> Somehow that bomb didn't blow up in his face. I cannot believe he's living these. That Toad's active for so I feel like whenever I see Toad get activated, it's not, oh man, good counter. It was, oh, I thought that ended already. <laughs> really? You always do seem to find it on the back foot. Brazo has not been able to land back on the stage for about, what, 40 seconds? This is the MM Leo show. Wait, up throw kills? I mean, he's at 200. That's a good point. I was, like, kind of curious if up throw was going to kill. But I think once it killed, I was like, man, that's still killed. Still up 3-1 to one right now. Razo, it's not looking like he knows what to do in this matchup. And again, it could be just the fact that Peach doesn't really have those really obvious disjoints to hit back the bomb without him hurting himself. So I think instead of experimenting with these, uh, sending the bombs back, he just needs to float over it. Because that is what Peach does the best. Yeah, finally gets that good back air, but... Already down three to one. This isn't too impossible to bring back. Again, Raza needs to find that clean opening so he can get his free 60%. And up throw into the bomb to actually make, I think the laser exploded the bomb too, so that was an extra damage. That's a really cool setup. Yeah, and I full, I full screen Peach counter. That's really not gonna do much. Oh yeah, you're gonna counter it, but I got three more waiting for you. And I'm 
I, I, I do love Mingo to backer. It's such a cool, it's such an interesting move. It just has that big explosion and you don't expect it to kill and then you're like, wow, I got blown up. So MM Leo taking that first game in a pretty commanding fashion. I don't think MM Leo was worried at all about losing that game. That was he was uh, telling Ronzo what he was gonna do. All right, you'll he, you'll he get to like game. Okay, so I'm banning. Uh, I know what I'm gonna ban after this game. <laughs> like, you'll get back to the stage when I tell you you can. Still, again, like we said, this is winner semis, best of five. This does give Ronzo the time to kind of react and figure out what he wants to do in this matchup. He, that first game seemed like a lot of experimentation for him. So we're gonna, I'm curious to see what uh, the adaptations are going to be made. Yeah, that that looked incredibly rough to deal with. Mm -hmm. That's definitely one of those matches where, like, if you don't know what to do against me, Gunner, you need a lot of time to figure out things on the fly. So you ready for the lab stream tomorrow? <laughs> me, Gunner, practice with, um, I couldn't name another me, Gunner. I could not name her. He's gonna just invite Leo to not come back. I'm gonna no, SD, no, no I didn't ask. I will, I, will, I will drive down there and pick you up and we will stream from my place. Yeah, still, Razo is that person who really is good at downloading his opponents and figuring out what he needs to change. So I don't think this set is gonna be like a clean 3-0. I think Razo's gonna fight back and at least make it close. He's gonna make him fight for this win. How did he grab him there? How did, how did you do that, Leo? <laughs> Again, that stealth bomber, you cannot get caught lacking with it. You've got to be ready for it. And that's, again, one of those things. If you don't know the matchup, that stealth bomber is going to blow you up. Because, like, the farther you it is away from me, Gunner, the stronger it is. Wait a minute. Okay, yeah, just float. Yeah, the stronger way that stealth bomber is, the more powerful it will get. So if you get at that max range, it'll blow you up at 70. I didn't know that. Honestly, MM Leo has really perfected the craft of... I want to be annoying and I don't want you to, I don't want you to get this damage for free. He's just so good at like kind of frustrating his opponent into like, I got to hit you and then he takes 40% for it. Yeah, he, he really does just force you to go for these bad approach options. And like Razo is just struggling to find like what he can even do. Peach is a pretty slow character, has to like jump into you often. It, they're not just going to run up and grab you because they forced you to hold shield like another character. Which, Morazzo finally finding his footing and getting into an advantage state. That's probably the part where me, Gunner, can struggle. Yeah, I can do a lot of mix-ups on the ledge, but if I just kind of stand back and don't get hit by it, you're going to have to land eventually. And Peach has those fast aerials, so he's going to be able to catch you. But is he going to be able to land this first stock? Good get-up attack there from MM Leo. Just sees the barrage of down tilts and what a response. That one hurt. Thought he was going to land with something, and he just charged that. He stood there. No, you got to do something. You're the one down. Raza kind of taking a breath to try to figure out what's happening right now. Because this is the second game in a row where he's been down 3-1. to one. Raza was just struggling with these bomb placements. And MMLA was not stopped with them either. God, this... It, you can just tell how uncomfortable Brazo is with the way that MM Leo is putting out all these projectiles. You really have to bomb and weave, and even if you're just a slight bit off, you're getting blown up and you're taking 20% for it. Or I think it's just 10%. Yeah, it's really just a lot of... How do I get in? Because everything feels covered here. Oh, that f is about to kill, but that bomb hit him. Tries to call him out with that up air, but the Peach Bomber kind of... It's a little too fast. This is scary right now because Razo makes one bad decision. He's gonna get caught by that back air or that up air, or maybe an up smash. Oh, fair. There, no up smash, but there's the back air, and that's a three stock from Emilio. Look at Emilio, calm and collected. Unlike his boiling key back there. <laughs> Razo's now down to oh, it does not look like he's figured out what to do against this Peach either, or against this Me Gunner either. I feel like Razo has like a Lucina or something. Come on, bust that out. I don't think he does. I think you're right. <laughs> I do like that Raza's like taking this second. It's just kind of calm down, relax. Like, let me think about this. Because obviously I've been getting blown up this set. I need to figure something out. Bro, Linky's popping off in the background, bro. Dude, the set's not even over yet. Remember, one of his SD homies is uh, up 2-0. That's fair. Mm 
<laughs> Strides run so weird. What was that? <laughs> Don't, leave him alone. <laughs> I, I was mesmerized. <laughs> leave him alone, dog. Oh, bro, are we still thinking about this? I respect that. Take take your time, man. <laughs> That'd be really funny. Just, Leo's like, just puts up the launch. Come on, man. I gotta camp you more. Let me get into it. I think he needs to go Daisy. Yeah, go Daisy. I was gonna say the same thing. The Daisy counter pick. Yeah, Raza's fully downloading. Like, what do I need to do? And you know the thing is, like, Raza's not just wasting time there. He's got something cooking, right? He's genuinely, like, thinking over every interaction that happened in the last 10 minutes. That dude took 20% for jumping. Man, why does this character have better Falco Laser, better Samus Up Smash, better oh, Samus Bomb? I don't know, man. Wait. They needed to give the me something. Is this character just better Samus? With Cloud Nair? I don't know, man. I like Samus movement a lot more than me Gunner movement, but that's just me. Well, me Gunner is definitely not the character Smash to sleep for on. Me Gunner fair movement? Oh, true. That, that character was funny. Still, Razo down a bit. I do. I, I, I am agreeing with this Town and City platform. He has more space to kind of retreat from the from the barrage of items that's getting put on, and it looks like he's finally finding his footing. He's actually, even in percent now, instead of being down a percent. He's also doing a much better job of not getting hit by these uh, invisible projectiles. Mm -hmm. Okay, the three rolls in a row, though. Mm -hmm. Eventually gonna roll into the bomb, not going to be able to escape, unfortunately. I think the problem is Raza didn't pull a stitch face yet. Yeah, true. He pulled all of his stitch faces for the night in his last set against AC. He didn't even need them either. He didn't. So, but I, I am really liking this bigger stage kind of pick. At first he goes Smash Bros. says, I don't want to give you room to set up. And then he realizes, I have no room. Small stages are good for zoners. I have no room to move around your projectiles. Oh my god, even the bomb doesn't save him from that monstrous fair. And Raza with the first lead of this entire set. Never mind. What did that scoop from? We were at Dairy Queen, but we got two scoops. Man, I was I was just saying that Razo had his lead, and MM Leo immediately claps back. I got something for that. Still getting these conversions. Yeah, pop. That bomb comes out so fast. I wonder what frame is active on. I wonder, like, how close it would be to, like, a snake grenade where it could just jail you out of uh, combos. I don't think it's anywhere close to, like, uh, Oh, definitely breaker, not. But... Still, this is a lot better of a game for Razo. Man, that time to think, that is something for him. Says two train with the down tilt. Oh, he read the roll out, but just didn't react in time. Yeah, Razo's done a great job of just slowing down the pace of this set. Uh, bringing this to at least a game where he has a lead. Whether or not he can take a stock lead again is going to be a different story. But for now, he can at least take the time and know that I was wrong and that he now has to approach because MM Leo took the percentage lead. Mm -hmm. And the way his platform came in a lot too, he's just not trying to run at MM Leo and just try to con force a conversion. That's gotten him blown up a lot this set. I'm really liking the way Razo is floating with his back to MM Leo. Just says, I can bear the bomb on reaction and give myself a little bit of breathing room. This character's not unbeatable. I just have to find the pattern. It's that sweet spot fair. Finally takes that lead again. Is he going to get scooped? He will. <laughs> you know, what I think is really funny is that Leo named himself after Mega Man, MM Leo, and then decides to play like a Mega Man boss instead. Oh my god, I never made that uh that lead. Well, you oh. just like, he has this like set pattern and you're just sitting there bashing your head on the wall like, how do I deal with this? God, that's a great analogy. Still, Razo getting a bit of percent there. He's trying to read that air dodge in with the down air, but still 39% enough to scoff at. I guess that down flip into the nair, 60%. Oh, calls out the jump with the down smash. I like that move, really active. Oh, bad fair. Oh, there the it is. Stitch! You were right. He the, needed the stitch. Yeah, I told you. I he, he got the stitch and won the game. That was that stitch was instant, bro. Got it. Okay, there you go. You're right in position too. You've activated my trap card. Stitch. 
Yeah, I feel like MMA was like, oh, it's just a turn up. He looked at like, wait a minute, that that joint's kind of kind of fast. Then it hit him. Okay, I'm also playing a game on the board. Bro, that, that two minute break, that's that's <laughs> everything he needed. He took that mental like, okay, I gotta stop running in, man. I'm getting blown up. Now, Razo needs to avoid going to a small stage here. We don't have DSR. So, no Smashville, no Battlefield, maybe? I think I think that is a good call. I think like, Smashville definitely was not good for Razo. I think Battlefield is too big of a stage for Peach to want to kill consistently on. Big blast. I mean, the stage itself is still pretty small. I feel like we're going to FD. FD is the pick that I, back to PS2, which is surprising because I think MM Leo was banning PS2. He did ban PS2 game one. Me, Gunner. So again, game three, going to PS2. And we got the wild Pokemon battle. Great theme, personally. Okay, and once again, we're on a large stage. Razo's figured out what to do with all this space a little bit. Oh, huge damage. Throw the bomb back at him. That's really what you need to do when me Gunner does throw out that bomb. If you have that safe aerial or move, that'll hit it back at him. You can get so much percent on me Gunner, and then they'll put, get put in disadvantage. I'm really liking the like way Razo's throwing the turnip while falling. Knows the exact angle he's able to throw it, the distance to get it to hit MM Leo for throwing these lasers. Mm. Oh, big back air coming in. I like the way that Razo mixed up his recovery. Knew if he landed right there, there was something coming out for it. Kind of dot eyes. I'm really surprised that downer didn't hit from Peach. Oh, the bear into the bomb? Razo's being a lot more reserved with these back airs. He's kind of—he's not just throwing them out willy-nilly, especially at the bombs. He's waiting until Leo is throwing the bombs and then reacting to him and hitting him for that, because that's the part where you can punish it. Up smash, barely living a great DI from Razo. If he DI'd in, he was definitely dead. Yeah, it's good that you bring it up. There is definitely lag on the like, end of dropping the bomb. Similar to like Bowser Jr.'s Mecha Koopa spawn is the animation I would com uh, compare it to. Mm -hmm. Um, and razo has been doing a good job of like figuring that timing out. What a, a what a turn up there. Still, yeah, great tech from MM Leo, 191%. Do not approach me. Do oh, that was the first time MM Leo just decided to run in and Razo had some for that, bro. <laughs> he smacked him in the mouth. Oh my god, the parasol just sent the bomb back. <laughs> I gotta get that is funny. I got him blown up for that. Oh. Speaking of getting blown up, that back oh, air. I thought, I thought Leo SD'd there. Oh, that would have been tragic. But he is running, I believe that's the lo longest traveling up the for the Me Gunners. Yeah. Because there's like the explosive one that kills people. Yeah, but the explosive one like spikes, doesn't it? I like the beginning of it. It might, honestly. I think, yeah, I think Me Gunner up B is the one I'm the most, the least familiar with. Okay. I can't tell you what. I can tell you like one of two, three of the other ones up these as well. True. But right now, this is looking pretty even. Emily kind of thought him, his way back into this being even. And he's oh, dead no. there. You can't be jumping there. You cannot be jumping. Yeah, and Leo hasn't really thrown that out. Air dodge to the ground gets caught by an up smash from Razo, and he's doing a good job. Oh, just staying huge, on top of MM Leo. Huge advantage state for Razo. He called out every one of these options now. Oh, here's the dot eye. That's going to be big damage. No, he gets the shield out in time, but... Here we Razo go. Push him back. back Razo's fighting. He wants this game five. Gets the drag down up air. I love that approach a lot. I love that trap with the bomb into grab. It's just something you have to react to, and it's it can be a bit too fast. I'm really curious if Razo's starting to like drop these combos. We're seeing a lot of like single hits, and he's falling out. But mm -hmm. right now, Razo looks like he's pr finally comfortable in this matchup. He's really feeling here's a lot loose. Stitch. All right, here's the damage. Oh, he so doesn't much. get the catch. Razo may be playing a little bit nervous. I feel like we don't see him drop that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But he's still happy with the percent he got. It's put him in the lead, and you kind of don't even realize it. Finds that stealth shot punish. Another one of those moves where you kind of have to get between it to actually get the punish for there. It's that oh dash back. Now, this could be death here. Now, now we're, we're wiggly. 
That was a great recovery there from Mazza. Goes higher, avoids the stealth bomber, knows he has no other option. This is so this is so scary. That's oh, it. and that's gonna be it. I was gonna say this is gonna be so scary being in the corner against MM Leo. He has so many options to get a kill. He has that back here, that dash tack, the F tilt and the F smash. That ends up being it for him. Still great set from Mazza.